Well, we're here at uh, Timwood Hill, opposite Cultural Vannons HQ. And Aidy, um, obviously, this is to do with you. And we have our visitor here from uh, Canada. I think we talked a few years ago. We're trying to work it yes. out. Yeah. But over to you first of all, what's it about? Well, I mean, Gary's very good connections with the Isle of Man. Been over a number of times now, really, with students yeah. and, and yourself and doing research about, I suppose, language revitalisation. But it's, it's, you're over here. It's, it's a bit broader than just the language, isn't it? It's about sort of trying to find out about the sort of constitutional position and lots of other different aspects of sort of yeah, so it's a, like. a three-week field school. We spend two weeks in Ireland and we spend a week in the Isle of Man and we're interested in, in looking at how issues of globalisation, identity, culture, uh, you know, are affecting places like the Isle of Man in Ireland. That's fantastic. And first of all, we, you have to show them where the Isle of Man is, right, on the map. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have that sort of thing? Some of them know Manx cats, some oh, of them have Manx good. cats, some yeah. of them know the TT, but yeah, yeah they, they're not very familiar with the Isle of Man until... Um, until we sort of start the class and uh, give them a, a refresher course on, on everything about the Isle of Man. So. Okay, obviously quite successful because you, you, you're back again. So what's, yeah. what are they learning? Well, they're learning lots. We've, we've visited a lot of uh, historic sites uh, the last couple of days. Uh, we've been up to Top of Snaefell. We've been to Craigneesh. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing interviews, actually, with people. Um, uh, Julie Matthews from the Bun School, the head teacher of the Bun School, we interviewed her this morning. Uh, we have to interview Adrian and, and Brisha Madrell tomorrow uh, at Culture Vannon. So the students are learning uh, how to do field research, uh, which is interviews, taking field notes, and, and all of those kinds of skills. Quick lesson in Manx or two? Um, we'll, we'll try and get that we'll, in tomorrow we'll morning. Definitely, yeah, definitely yeah, we'll be, be interested in that. Making Gill yeah. a little bit of Manx. Yes. And, and from your side, Culture of Annan, uh, Aidy, and, and the Manx thing that you, you're promoting, yeah. what's, what's, how well, does it fit I think in? It partly, partly it's about, um, we've talked before, haven't we, about ch trying to change the narrative and the story about the Isle of Man. That, but when it boils down to it, most people might know cats, TT races, wallabies, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> and, don't and, and, that no, 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 don't, don't mention don't the wallabies. Mention wallabies. Yeah, don't mention. They're very interesting. Oh. <laughs> don't mention the wallabies. And also tax. And the Isle of Man often has, you know, this sort of, you know, certain reputation, right. certain story about there. So I suppose talking to people like you, a lot of the work we do, it's about trying to tell a different story about the Isle of Man, which doesn't, you know, you know, isn't just about tax. It's about its own culture, identity, its mm -hmm. own island, mm -hmm. you know. And um, there's a, a different and really interesting story, I think, which doesn't involve tax, doesn't involve just the races and things like that. It's yeah. a very interesting and, and story here, I think. Broaden the knowledge is a great thing to get the word out around oh, the world. I think we, we have to, you know, and hopefully your students will go back and let people know that there is something else about the Isle of Man apart from cats. Yeah. Absolutely, and, and, in, yeah. and in Canada too, we have a lot of indigenous languages that are under threat. Huh. Um, so going through a very similar process of trying to revitalise those languages. So I think both places can learn from each other about how that's done. Right? And, and, and you'll be back again then? Uh, yeah, we usually run this every two years, so this is the third time that we've run it. And we will talk to some of the students now yeah, and hear right. what they think about the Isle of Man. We mostly have started out looking at uh, the history of the Tinwald and the very unique political situation here. So that's really, really interesting. Personally, it's an anthropology slash political science field school and I'm a poli sci student. So I'm like, yes. Um, but then now we're starting to delve into the unique uh, language situation and the culture. We also have visited like the, the Manx Museum. Um, so really looking into and delving into like the, especially the, the Manx language, um, like we just had an interview with the head of the Bun School. Um, so that was really amazing. And just getting to learn um, what efforts are working here. And it was really cool seeing the kids in the school. We got to hear them sing a song and that I felt really lucky to be able to hear that. So, yeah. Uh, well, kind of learning about language revitalization as well as the history. Uh, as well, we've kind of been going around the area and examining it. Mm -hmm. I kind of find it interesting to like look at the very different like depictions and how the area kind of comes across at first. It, it, it's been good. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, being on the Isle of Man. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. um, mostly about just the political structures of Tinwald and uh, the how uh, language revitalization is being done here, and it's been really interesting. Did you know who the Isle of Man was before you came here? Uh, a little. I have um, my uh, my grandfather's great grandfather originally came from the Isle of Man, so there's there's a little bit of a connection there, um, but not we don't really know much about it. So.